Even though this is time-lapsed, I got this looking like a chimpanzee pretty quickly. One of the most distinguishing features that if you include on the chimpanzee, you'll get it looking like a chimpanzee right from the start, are the giant floppy ears. And there are a couple different species of chimpanzees, but the standard chimpanzee that you see most often in movies, not the bonobo, which have smaller ears, but the pan troglodyte chimpanzee have these giant floppy ears. And gorillas, ironically, have small ears. At a certain point in this video, I morphed back and forth from a chimpanzee to a gorilla, and it will drive home some comparative anatomy between chimpanzees and gorillas, which will be really helpful to understand the chimpanzee form, because sometimes you can understand something by what it is, but also by what it's not. But once you do those giant floppy ears, pulling the mouth forward, giving it a brow ridge, flatten the nose, give them beady little eyes and a small brain case, and it starts looking like a chimpanzee pretty quickly. To see what an actual hybrid between a gorilla and a chimpanzee would look like, take a look at these morphs. One of the most obvious things when you start off with a chimpanzee and then you morph it to a gorilla is the ear size. The chimpanzees have giant floppy ears. Of course their ears vary from chimpanzee to chimpanzee and the bonobos have different ears than the conventional chimpanzee, the pan troglodyte chimpanzee which is related to the billy ape. The gorillas tend to have much smaller ears and not a lot of variation between their ears. They all have small ears. The other big thing is gorillas have a much bigger head and a lot of that trapezius in the back of the skull and their giant neck muscles is kind of lumped in with their head because it looks like one big mass sometimes from the side. You see their head, the giant crest in their head, and the giant neck muscles. It looks like one big mass sitting on top of their shoulders. The chimpanzees do have a sagittal crest, but sometimes from the front it actually looks recessed because they have all these muscles on the side of their head. They're anchored to the sagittal crest and they actually stick out more. They're higher as opposed to the gorilla where the sagittal crest is higher. The chimpanzee's crest is actually lower. You see that in a lot of photographs of chimpanzees, especially some that are bald. You can see that in bold relief. Another thing is the chimpanzees have a bigger muzzle, it looks like. Now, that might not be all bone structure. Maybe that's fleshy tissue, but their mouths tend to stick out more. Just kind of like their ears. They have floppy mouths, chimpanzees do, and they have floppy ears as well. There are similarities between the noses. The bridge of the nose, the chimpanzees are a little broader, and the gorillas have a thin bridge to the nose, but there's not a lot of difference between their noses. The gorilla's nose tends to go down closer to the mouth. There's not a lot of distance between the lips and the lowest part of the nose on the gorilla. Not so much with the chimpanzees. There's more, you know, mug, orbiculus, orus, the muscle that goes around the mouth. You can see the that whole area is between the lowest part of the nose and the lip is taller in the chimpanzee than the gorilla. The gorillas seem to have smaller eyes, at least in proportion to their whole head. They both have ample brow ridges, but the gorilla seems to edge them out with heavier brow ridges and just generally more protection around the eyes. Their forehead looms out more and their cheekbones come forward a little bit more than the chimpanzee. Also bigger jaws on the gorilla. Another thing that's kind of subtle, if you look under the lip as it morphs back and forth between the chimpanzee and the gorilla, the mentalis muscle seems to stand out more. That's that round muscle when you like pout your lips. You have that kind of a ball shaped, circular shaped muscle on top of your chin that kind of dimples. You can see that more in the gorilla than you do in the chimpanzee. And is there anything that I'm not picking up on? And this is just form-wise, not necessarily pigmentation-wise, this is just the general form of the gorilla versus the chimpanzee. But can you see anything else, and I can do this with Neanderthals versus a modern human, or going back further in time to Australopithecus versus a modern human, or a chimpanzee versus a modern human, or I could do it with, you know, political figures, just joke ones. 
a CNN reporter, or a politician, or anybody versus a chimpanzee or versus another person. This morphing going back and forth between the two is a great way to study the differences. It's a great comparative anatomy tool. I haven't really seen it used that much. And what comparative anatomies do you want to see? 